Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an interesting video for you guys. It's going to be a quick video. I guess I can classify it as a natural hair hack or natural hair tips and tricks type of video. So basically, I'm going to show you seven to eight hacks that every natural or every transitioner should know. It can save you a couple bucks or it's just something that I find useful. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. Number one is pineapples for all hair lengths. Yes, all hair lengths. All you need is a pantyhose and you're gonna cut the leg part off. You're then going to put it on your forehead like you would a headband and pull the excess piece over your head in either an upward motion to look like Marge Simpson or towards your forehead. I know it looks and sounds crazy, but trust me, it works like a charm. You can stop there or for extra coverage, add your satin bonnet or your scarf and off to bed you go. Two, do-it-yourself hair ties. Again, you're gonna need some old tights or some knee-high pantyhose, and you're gonna basically cut it to your desired length or width. Why I like these is because it prevents snagging and breakage like a normal hair tie, and it's great if you have thick hair. Also, when I'm doing my high puffs or ponytails, it just gives me more leverage to where I wanna create my ponytail or puff and to make it look fuller. Number three, guys, is a lifesaver and a great investment if you have four to six dollars to spare. The name speaks for itself. It's just a drain that catches any shedded hair so it doesn't clog up your tub. Four is you want to replace your towel with an old cotton t-shirt. I know you guys probably heard of this before, but do you actually know why? Basically, when your hair is wet, it becomes soft and weaker. So the grooves from your towel will cause frizz and possible breakage. So we obviously want to avoid that. Your goal of using a towel or cotton t-shirt is to absorb any excess water. When you use a towel, sometimes it can absorb both the water and the moisture. We want to keep that moisture but get rid of the excess water. Number five, if you want to stretch your roots, using bobby pins is great for that. Number six, if you want that coily look at the ends of your hair, add a perm rod for extra definition. Adding end wraps is completely optional. The only reason I added it to my perm rods is because when I'm in a rush to take out my perm rods, it tends to snag my hair, the little teeth. So again, it's optional. Number seven is an alternative way to stretch your roots is by using a blow dryer. All I'm doing is grabbing a section of hair and you're gonna kind of tug it at the bottom and you're gonna move your blow dryer in an up and down motion for anywhere from 25 to 30 seconds. If you have a concentrator nozzle, that's a plus. And if you have a cool setting on your blow dryer, you can use that as well. And for number eight, you need steam and all this is going to do is moisten your hair and that is a quick way to break a gel cast. Once you have enough steam in your bathroom or if you have a portable steamer, you're basically just going to crunch your hair and that instantly gets rid of gel cast. And so if you guys found this video to be useful or if you learned something new today, I would like for you to give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys have any hacks that I should know about or you heard of, leave it in the comments below. I'm active down there and I will see you guys next time. Bye.